this pandemic quickly put a lot of people out of work. There was a rippling effect that it upset our way of life. We had people that were homeless that had been evicted from their housing um, because they had no income coming in because of the pandemic, not being able to work. So there was a great need in our community. We received a little over $700,000 in rental assistance money. This is the first time that our tribes have received this type of uh, funding. So it opened up a wealth of opportunities for tribes to learn and become comfortable with uh, administering these types of funds. We streamlined and expedited this process because people were needing it so bad. We did drop off at the tribal center where if you couldn't come out or if you were scared to come out, then we made a drop box. We made alliances with utility companies, oil companies, uh, and the landlords. We were able to assist 150 families with ERA. We want to be able to provide an opportunity for our people to live in their homelands, close to their families, close to their communities. I've seen people come out to the organization giving back as we gave to them and they take their civic responsibilities. Uh, they've become more important than them. I'm thankful that my people, the Kahiri people, was able to assist our community that was in need. This is Indian Heritage Month in North Carolina as proclaimed by the governor. So all over this nation and all over the state, there's uh, events and activities being planned in celebration of the American Indian population. In the confusion, the political unrest, the divisiveness, I think the country could look at indigenous communities the way we care for each other, and it would be good for us all. Community does matter.